Well, thanks for being with us. We hope to see you again next week on The Third Thing. That was beautiful, Matilda. Okay, folks, that's a wrap. Woo! Well, bravo! Yeah. That was pathetic. I mean, even by our dismal standards. Where was the focus? What was the heart of that piece? I mean, was there even one single person we even cared about? Hello? Now have a break. Have some drugs. Have whatever you need. But have no doubt, when you come back, I want some ideas. Okay? Oh! <sighs> Joy, this is really starting to piss me off. Yeah, it's a lot of boxes. No, not, not this. Wait, why is it always us? Why don't we get all the naff jobs? Because we're cute and funny. Hey, what is this stuff anyway? Every time we come to Clark Station, we're picking up stuff and we don't even know what it is. <sighs> is it too much to ask that our lives here have just a little bit of meaning? Wow, these are pretty cool. The resurrection of Earth. We got the terraforming, <clears throat> the restoration of Earth's environment, blah, blah, blah. And the efforts to reform the Lunar Terran Federation with the upcoming elections. Wow. That's a great idea, Julian. Can we get it together in a week? Oh, come on, guys. Idea time. What's next week's story? You know, I joined this ship as a bounty hunter. No one told me I was just going to be a jumped-up grease monkey. Why do those three get all the good gigs? Why don't we get any missions? I don't know. Well, I think the next job should be us. It should. You know, I don't think they realize quite how valuable we could be to this outfit. Absolutely. You know, if it wasn't for me, Travis wouldn't even be here. You know, when we left the Raiders, I practically saved his life. Yes, I know. You've told me that before. Well, he owes me. I think you should ask him. Me? I hate asking people for things. But it's your ship. Yes, well, you saved him. Okay. I'll ask him. In fact, I'll tell him. Uh-oh. Police. Uh, no. Uh, doctors. Please. Teachers. Dull, dull, dull. I need people an audience will care about. You know, ordinary men and women doing extraordinary things, and in doing those things, becoming extraordinary themselves. I need human stories. You know, someone who will really put themselves on the line for us. How about... How about bounty hunters? Hyper Antrium Cargo and Personnel Escort. Jewel dealer, <clears throat> back to Mars Fed. To every crim this side of Pluto, take the week off. Ah, uh, here's a bell runner. Uh, the three.
for a little bit. And only 5,000 credits. All right, Marcus? Yeah, great. We've uh, brought all the provisions on board, purged the atmosphere in the shuttle bay, refitted the auto latch, done a PDA scan on the Filtertron units. We'd uh, like to handle the next bounty case, and we've just completed an external sensor check. Terrific. Yeah. And no way, Marcus. Oh, come on, Travis. It's ages since we've been out on a mission. And who's we? Me and Percy. And actually, it's not for me, it's her. I'm, I'm really worried about her. I think she's getting cabin fever. You know, she needs to get off this ship again before she forgets that it won't kill her. So let me get this straight. You're bored and Percy needs some fresh air, so I should send you on a mission. Do the words life-threatening, death, even come into your vocabulary, you know, mean anything to you? Yeah, well, actually, they do, and that is exactly my point. These are the kind of things me and you used to get into all the time, and now, now I spend all my days walking around this ship armed with nothing more than a monkey wrench. He has got a point, Montana. I don't want to watch my ass if he's rusty. Fine. Comrades, let me introduce to you the universally famous holovisionary Mr. Julian Sanders. Mr. Montana, this is truly an honor, sir. Truly it is. Julian's going to be making a documentary about us. I still think this is a bad idea. Holocasting our faces throughout the solar system is not exactly smart. Especially for you. Damn right. Julian is a dedicated maker of small but important works of integrity and relevance and intelligence. Yes, so your point is no one will see it and that's worth risking my neck? Exactly. Fame is fleeting. So, what is the point then? Six months money. Fine. Make sure they keep my face out of it. That goes double for me. You won't even know they're here. Mr. Montana. I just want you to know that Naz, Dean, and I certainly appreciate our accommodations and the four-star treatment we're receiving. Four-star? Where the hell are they staying? Oh, I realize the very nature of our project is a little disruptive, so the sooner we get started, the sooner we'll be finished and out of your air. You know what I want to do? I want to make the bounty hunting documentary about you. The premier bounty hunters of all time. Old time? You know, there's probably a plaque somewhere. What's going on? Hello? What are you doing? What are you talking about? I'm just talking about capturing your life, you know. Preparing for a mission, capturing a dangerous felon, collecting the bounty, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but only about 30% of our missions deal with what you would call dangerous felons. Yeah, most of our bounties are warranted for, what, uh, docking violations, unpaid child support? Biting the heads off documentary makers? That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe we'll get lucky. One of those 30% will pop up. Okay, fellas, transmitting. Miss Arcadia, if I could ask you just a few questions, just a moment of your time. No I comment. Part of no comment did you not understand? And Marcus, well, tremendous potential, very experienced. Is that thing on? No, no, no. Good. Actually, uh, they're all very talented and very professional. How would you describe your uh, style of leadership aboard the Tulip? Flexible. So this is where we keep and maintain the weapons for when we're dealing with armed and dangerous criminals. And uh, what kind of dangerous criminals are these? Well, typically they'd be raiders, ex-raiders, special forces, renegades, murderers, serial rapists, any category A prisoners, really. And so once you've captured these dangerous criminals, what happens next? Oh, we would, um, <clears throat> I would bring them back here and interrogate them. And you conduct these interrogations alone? Well, by the time I've captured them, uh, transported them back, they're usually manageable. And they're locked up, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. If you'd like to follow me. Basically just friendship. You then you run it all from here. Yep, pretty much. What do these buttons do? Weapons. Okay, and these? Navigation. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
What about these buttons? Those buttons? Yeah. Those buttons right there? Right there. Nothing. These buttons do nothing at all. So you never... Never. Never. Ever. Never. 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 Right. From my mate in crime dispatch. Lightweight stuff. Mostly stolen goods, communication devices, medicine, environmental suits. Stanley says this guy Tremaine escaped three days ago from the Marius facility. Medium security. Medium security is a damn holiday camp. Look, he's been picked up three times by Lou Toby's crew. Uh, what does that mean? It means you could probably pick him up yourself. Still a bit more exciting for Julian's purposes. If by that you mean he's a notch up on shoplifters, I'll give you that, but uh, not by much. That's the best we're going to get? I'm afraid so. So you're telling me that we're going to camera in two days and we still don't have a story? Well, how stupid is that? Julian, you are supposed to be one of the most exciting holovisionaries in the universe. I'll come up with something. Julian? Make it so. Any change? I'm afraid not. I mean, uh... If you start tomorrow, this is the best you're going to get. I mean, we'll do our best to keep it exciting, of course. No, no. Just keep it real. Hold on, hold on. What's this we business? This is our gig, mine and Percy's. Pardon? The next job, remember? I asked him, he said, yeah. He did? You did? My goodness, you're right, Marcus. The next job. Uh, so what are you saying? What he's saying is your next movie is starring Marcus and Percy. Yay. Oh, what could be better than that? Ten thousand credits. A delivery of twins to Ring Shepherd. Easy money. Thought you'd appreciate that. A delivery of twins? Yeah, babysitting. Speaking of which, uh, you two uh, keep an eye on those two. Oh, come on, Travis. We don't need that. It's a milk run, Travis. They'll be fine. I'll stay here and look after the ship. Just bring back the dosh. Mr. Montana, thank you so much for your hospitality. I'm only sorry you won't be joining us. Well, maybe next time. Enjoy your 15 minutes. Uh, Travis, listen, I just wanted to say thank you. I am. Uh, I appreciate it. Well, good luck. Have fun. Marcus, ready for your implants? Percy? No, this won't take but a minute or two. Hope you aren't afraid of a little blood. Nope, not afraid of blood. I know all about corticals. I was fitted once for a fraud case. Contact is good. Full range access. <laughs> Automatic cell functioning and responding. Congratulations, Marcus. You are now a camera. <laughs> That's cool. This isn't gonna work. Sorry. Do we need two cameras? Is there any reason? Don't ask. One it is. A petty crim like Tremaine is gonna go right back to Clark Station and start all over again? Why? You can't beat Clark Station for moving fine things, right? Yeah. Gateway Lounge it is, then. Marcus, you take the bar? Right. We'll find a table. Caravaggio, power up the shuttle and set all doors to automatic. Certainly, madam. And car, reconfirm transport arrival from Marius Orbital. One hour, 43 minutes. That'll do. Shuttle bear of luck. The bounty hunters are all in place. It's as if they've all seen this before. So what do you think of the big time? It's OK. Better than breathing Rodolfo's stale air.
Okay. Something's wrong. He's leaving the bar. Oh, yeah. What do you say we get out of this dump and take it for some real fun? Yeah, maybe. I'll be busy. We need to find out what's going on. Right. Oh. Yeah, he looks pretty cute. I don't know if he's cute up close, though. It's hard to tell. Only one way to find out. After you. No, after you. Hi. Hi. Hey. Are you supposed to ask me if I want to sit down? Oh, uh, so, uh, take a seat. No. Who's the guy at the bar? I don't know his name, but I've definitely seen him before. He's a writer. Anything to do with our man? I hope not. Thank you. Up close, he's really ugly. And the guy at the bar is a raider. What's the news on the transporter? It's up 15 minutes ago. So any minute now. Hey, it's your mate over here. Hey, How great. This is not good. wasn't it? Now, before we go back to the bar, let's see some highlights. I don't believe it. Goodness me. Bloody hell. Now, before we go back to Julian and his comments on all the action, let's set the table. What's the first thing? Marcus, the first thing. That's right, the protagonist. And the second thing? The antagonist. Yes, a, a petty thief who turns out to be a big-time raider assassin. All right. Now, what do you imagine to be the third thing? Oh, stay tuned. We are just getting started here on The Third Thing. Sorry, man. My gun got stuck in my, uh... Whoa. Oh, no. Well, my goodness, what a difference a day makes. It seemed, as Julian astutely pointed out in his last report, that Marcus was on his way to bagging an, an easy bounty. But something went awfully wrong for Marcus and his team. What happened down there? How could Tremaine have possibly foiled the good guys? Are you okay? I want you to remove the implant. I understand, I understand 100%, but... I have never seen anyone die before. But you have to understand that there's a 48-hour optical scramble following any corticoid removal. Marcus, being blind for 48 hours right now would not be convenient. But just cut the feed. Mr. Fig, listen, I, I feel that I'm more than a little responsible for this whole mess. If I hadn't been so bloody here to just start, say... I... Come on now, that's not fair. I, uh, I do hope that Marcus isn't blaming Julian for his failure to deal effectively with the capture. Hey, let's put the question to you, vote now. What do you think? Is anyone other than our bounty hunters to blame? Tell me now. 
I missed him. They took a shuttle to Iowa City, Sector 7. Sector 7? It's the East End. Let's go. We're going after them? We have to. Hey, where did Rudolfo get his information on Jermaine from? From his friend at dispatch. Why? Jermaine's a bloody X-Raider. Is that what he calls an easy catch? Marcus, this isn't going to solve anything. He doesn't come on a mission that he set up. A mission that's essentially an X-Raider ambush. Why would Rudolfo send us down there knowing that? To finally get my ship? Look, there's 20 minutes till the next shuttle. Use this time to think this through. I thought, uh, well, I, everything that's been going on, I thought maybe you could use this. So. If this HV thing is over, why aren't you staying behind on Clark? Uh, there's no way back to Mars. Yes, we'll uh, go down with you to Iowa City, and uh, I don't know, someone will pick us up from there. Are you okay? It's just, uh, you see death all the time. I deal with making representations of reality, you know? And sometimes I think I don't know anything about it. What I saw today changed me. Well, I got news for you. It doesn't get easier. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think I can keep doing what I'm doing. I mean, who cares about HV? It's like I killed her down there. Like it was me pulling the trigger, you know? And all for what? All for me. All for the show. I think you need this more than I do. Shuttle 856 bound for Europa, departing in 10 minutes. Now, while we tend to think of teams like that of Marcus Fagans as, as unified and almost of one single mind, it appears clear from Julian's reportage that tensions are very much rising to the top. And while there is much conflict and mistrust aboard the Tulip, one nurturing archetype rises above the din, Callie the Fixer. Now, <laughs> clearly the child of alcoholics. She takes the opportunity at every possible turn to resolve the problems of her dysfunctional family. And in the process, ignores her own deeper needs, her own need for love. <laughs> just witness her role in the Rodolfo argument, or, or in Julian's weakest moment. Fixers like Callie it, tend to be extremely serious, self-reliant, unable to trust others, unable to relax, and clearly need to be in control. Mars Flight 87, arriving on Pad 3 in 30 minutes. What now? I'm going to check departures and make sure they haven't skipped town. Marcus. Yeah? Keep your eyes peeled. Marcus, I just want to thank you for all your help. Really. Thank you. I just want to apologize for getting you into this mess. No worries. Be careful. He's not far away. All parent nationals are requested to register with I.O. in the... Should we go? So far, we've only seen the perspectives of the first things, Marcus and Percy. But there's another point of view, the point of view of the second thing. We've come to that point now. Let's see what Tremaine has seen. Too much. I, I can't do this. This is not optional. I can't do this. 
No, I'll tell you what you can't do. You can't take care of your kid without working. And trust me, you leave me here and you'll never work again. Anywhere. Do you understand that? I can't. Go! parents online right now go stomach we need to get her out of there get us some help yeah yeah go come on there Why Jermaine took a shot at you back at the bar? He looked for you specifically. You set us both up. Then I'm glad to see you. All right, sunshine. Rather important message to relay. I'm kind of busy right now, Carl. Marcus? <clears throat> Marcus? Okay, so what the hell is it? I've been trying to send you a rather interesting image feed. You should see it. What kind of feed? It's being broadcast from a hollow vision station on Mars. If you wish, I can relay it through your implant. Okay, okay. Patch it through. Marcus. I'm afraid you're live on Holovision. <laughs> well, audience, we've come to that time in the program where you get to play along, to vote, to have your say. Now that Percy is out of the way performing her nursing duties and Marcus is on his own, we all know that the key to life is balance. Everything in equal proportions, they tell us. So, keeping that in mind, do you think we should balance things out for our subjects? Do you think Tremaine should be afforded the same privileges as our bounty hunter, now that they're one-on-one? -on -one? Should we give him a clearer view of the situation? Yes or no? Vote now. Mr. Tremaine? We have something you might like to see. We would like to help you find Marcus. If you look directly in front, you'll find the solution. Great.
Julian? Julian, we've lost Marcus's feed. What's going on? I lost them. Julian, can I report a fatality? I'm looking for them now. Stall until I get back to you. story. Right, where's the boy? Rodolfo? What's going on? Night vision. It's all right, then. All right. You know the first thing. You saw the second thing. And now, for the final ingredient. The all-important twist that defines drama in its highest form. The third thing. Callistal Arcadia. I think you need to see the third thing. Yeah, I think we should. It's a show, so it's... The third thing? Callistal Arcadia. Watch. The trigger. Where the hell is she? Look, uh, could you not hit me again? I don't know where she is, I swear. I swear. Look, we just supplied cameras to the guys who grabbed her, that's all. Wait, wait, think about it. Why would I put myself in a position to get caught? And. Security breach, squad one, two, seven, six, sector, echo, one, one, one. You have about 20 seconds to decide how you want to live the rest of your pathetic little life. Once the cops get here, we can't help you. If you take us to Cali, you can walk free. 15 seconds left. It means it. That's it. That's the place. Now let me go. Until we have Kelly. Why should I trust you? You know you probably shouldn't. What's so funny? Oh, it's the end of the game, people. What the hell are you talking about? I have three men positioned in that tower. At this very second, their high power weapons are pointed directly at your pretty little head. No. Let it rain! Actually, um. I've just been informed that the studio audience voted that plot twist out. This is insane. Okay, okay, stop! This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go inside that house with Rodolfo. Only Rodolfo's not gonna be Rodolfo. He's gonna be your boss. Understand? 
What are you looking at? Get the thing out of my face. Okay, it's my turn. Why? You've had the thing for the last half hour, that's why. Well, who got the training on it anyway? You mean how to hold it? Hey, guys. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. No way. We're not going through that again. Why are these gentlemen not wired up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I didn't know you. You're the guy on the show. Yeah, that's right. I'm the producer, and he's I'm the... I'm uh... the director. I am the man who makes dreams come true. And may I say, what a marvelous job you've been doing. Marvelous. And you, you, where did you get the idea of tilting from the ceiling and swooshing down upon the lady? Well, I don't know. I just thought that it would, you it's, know... It's called a jelly roll. Did you know that? Jelly roll. Yes, certainly it is. Yes, are you? You, I want you to make sure that this fine, fine lad works on every documentary we do from now on. Is that clear? I helped with the jelly roll. Did you? Did you really? Lovely. Right, gentlemen, if you could um, do something for me. I was wondering if you could uh, just, just um, stand there. That's beautiful, yes. Just stand there, yes, lovely. Lovely profiles, yes, yes. And on second thoughts, stun round. You are fired. <laughs> that is showbiz. Look, everything turned out all right, didn't it? Okay, wait. You guys get your money. Everyone's happy, all right? Take off your clothes. My clothes? Okay, hold on. Okay. Now! Come on, we don't have all day! What are you guys gonna do to me? Get in the airlock. Oh, I shoot you dead, I swear! Get in the airlock. Okay, okay. you enjoy. It's fun to watch, right? I'm sorry! I'm sorry. You're for it, it was Matilda. The production team. They blind failed it. I've always been a firm believer in getting your money's worth. And I'm sure you'll agree. All in all, it's pretty realistic. you're doing we're shutting you down you can't do that excuse me hey yeah uh, we don't find one I just wanted to say that oh, was, uh, that's okay son you don't need to say anything Attention, all hands. The credits have been deposited into the accounts minus the ship payments. The producers of the third thing are willing to drop criminal charges against you if you promise not to press <sighs> charges been against worse. them. Yeah, it could have been a series. Actually, it used to be one of my favorites. Rodolfo and I have whiled away many an evening in Matilda's company. You knew? I didn't believe it. Thanks, Carl. Obviously, I know. 
I just uh, didn't expect it to turn out like that, did I? Turn out like what? Nothing. Done. Handled. Bye. So, Percy, Marcus. It's fine, Travis. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was good. Good. So what? Get a tape for me. Did you? <laughs> you didn't miss much. On the next Star Hunter. And that means you have 20 hours to come up with a ransom. I can't get that much money, not in 20 hours. Then your parents die. Uh, just a scratch, mate. Dad? Serena! You set me up! I swear I did it! Oh! You don't knock? Not when I know the answer's gonna be bug off and die.